They found as he had said unto them, and they made ready to pass over. They made ready to pass over. Everything was prepared. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him, right? On that day, on that day, 13 sound down. 13, when the sound goes on, down to 14. That night, that's the night he sat down. And he said unto them, With desire, desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. There we go. Before I suffer. So, I'm sure he kept the Passover himself. So, you to tell me, you to deceive me, tell me the Passover done with that. You got to be super wicked. Because, let's read it. He said, the night, earlier he said, the night that, the Passover must be killed. The Passover must be killed. The Lamb, the God, Amashiach. Right? We jump to verse verses 15. He said, And he said unto them, With desire, I have desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. You see that? See? For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of Yahweh. So the Passover will see continue to eat it, to celebrate it. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourself. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of Yahweh shall come. Right? In verse 19, And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. So the Passover is the remembrance of who? Amashiach. And you don't want to keep the Passover. You you wasting time on Easter, pagan Easter. No, man. Let's see what Amashiach said, man. Let's read it again. He said, this is the book of Luke 22 and verse 19. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body, the lamb that we eat, that we will eat. Right, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Do in remembrance of who? Amashiach. So we must, you must kill the Passover. Okay, like it was also the cup after supper, saying this cup is the New Testament in my blood. So the Passover that we celebrate that you kill is the blood of Amashiach in my blood, which is shed for you. So the blood of Amashiach, the lamb, the blemish lamb, without sin, without guy, without no, nothing, nothing, was shed for you and me. So we must keep the Passover. The Passover must be killed. You see, who deceived you, man? Who deceived you? It wasn't me. I think the boy said it wasn't me. I don't want to deceive anybody. We just teach the truth, man. All right? All right, let's read it. This is the book of Exodus, right? It's enough. I already brought it out. It's decent. Exodus chapter 12. And verse 42, it is a night to be much observed unto the Lord for bringing them out from the land of Egypt, for deliverance from America, Canada, Babylon the Great, from France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Nigeria, Togo. Keep in mind, man, this is the night of the Lord to be observed, to be what? To be observed of all the children of Israel in their generations. So the Lord not done away with it. Right, let's go to Ezra 13 and 10. This is the book of Ezra chapter 13. I already read some verses. Ezra 13 and 10, let's read. Thou should therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year to year. From year to year, man. The Passover is from year to year. It's from generation to generation. Never stop, man. We're doing this in remembrance of who? Amashiach. The blood that he shed on the tree for you and for me. For the twelve tribe of Israel scattered throughout the fucking of this earth, man. And verse 43, Exodus 12 and 43. And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof. No stranger. Let's continue. What kind of stranger? But every man's servant that is bought for money, unless you're bought with money, when thou hast circumcised him, you got to be circumcised, the man got to be circumcised, okay, spiritually and physically, spiritually in your mind, in your heart, and also in the flesh, in your private part, keep in mind, okay, and the Lord said unto Moses, Moses of Masha and Aaron, right, this is the ordinance of the Passover, there shall no stranger eat thereof. 
But every man servant that is bought for money, when thou hast circumcised him, then shall he eat thereof. A foreigner, a foreigner or an higher servant shall not eat them off. There we go. In one house shall it be shall it be eaten. In one house shall it be eaten. Thou shalt not carry forth out of the out of the flesh are brought out of the house. Neither shall ye break a bone thereof. So we can break no bone. Because the bones of Amasha were not broken. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. All Israel, ye so-called blacks, Latino and native women. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, stranger, that means the disperse of our people that don't know that we got to keep it. Like many of our people still don't believe we got to keep the Passover. And we'll keep the Passover to the Lord. Let all his male be circumcised. All his male must be circumcised. Right? In the spirit, which is in your heart, and in the flesh. And then let him come near and keep it. And he shall be as one that is born in the land. For no uncircumcised, no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. If you are not circumcised in the flesh, you can't eat the Passover. You are not circumcised in the spirit. So first and foremost, you got to be circumcised in the spirit and in the flesh, both ways. Right? One law shall be to him. One law shall be to him that is homeborn and unto the stranger that sojourneth among you. Thus, thus did all the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses, and Aaron so did they. And it came to pass the self same day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by the army. Right? Let's continue. We're almost at the end, right? I just want to read a little bit right here, and then that'll be it, right? That'll be it, right? Let's read it. All right, this is Exodus 13. All right, we're going to be closing out on that. Exodus chapter 13 and verses 11. It shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanite, as he swear unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee, that thou shalt set apart unto the law all that open the mattress, and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast. The males shall be the Lord. That's what Amashak is of the most high, man. And every firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among children shall thou redeem. Right? Now the last one, I want to go in the book of War. Esdras. This is the first book of Esdras, right? That's where I'm going to end up, right? I'm going to read a little bit, right? This is the book of First Ezra chapter 1, verses 1. And Josiah held the feast of the Passover. Who? Josiah. In Jerusalem unto his Lord, and offered the Passover the 14th day of the first month. Having served the priests according to their daily courses, being arrayed in long garment, right? They were wearing long garment, the priest, the Levite, in the temple of the Lord, and he spake unto the Levite, the holy minister of Israel, that they should hallow themselves unto the Lord to set the holy ark of the Lord in the house that King Solomon, the son of David, had built, and said, Ye shall no more bear the ark upon your shoulder. Now therefore, said the Lord your Yahweh, and minister unto his people, Israel, and prepare you after your family and kindred. According as David the king of Israel prescribed, and according to the magnificence of Solomon his son, and standing in the temple according to the several dignity of the family of you, the Levite, who ministered. So the word dignity just talking about the Israelite, the Levite, those that are righteous, keep the law, the commandment of the Mosai, who minister in the presence of your brethren, the children of Israel. Offer the Passover in order, and make ready the sacrifice for your brethren. And keep the Passover according to the commandment of the Lord, which was given unto Moses. Right? We will go in the book of Ezra chapter 12. Okay? Ezra chapter 13. I went in the book of Luke chapter 22. And the list goes on and on. I went in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5. You know, so many priests are brought out. Right? And unto the people that was found there, Josiah gave 30,000 lambs and kids. Right? And 3,000 calves. 
These things were given of the king's allowance, according as he promised to the people, to the priests, and to the Levites. And Helkiah, Zechariah, and Cyrus, the governor of the temple, gave to the priests for the Passover 2,600 sheep and 300 calves. And Jeconah and Jeconias and Samias, Nathanael, his brother, and Asabiah, and Ochael, and Jorah, captain of a thousand, gave to the Levite for the Passover 5,000 sheep and 700 calves. And when this thing was done, the priest and Levi, having the unleavened bread, stood in very comely order according to the kindred, and according to the several dignity of the fathers before the people to offer to the Lord, as it is written in the book of Moses. And thus did they in the morning, and they roasted the Passover with fire. What did they do? They roasted the Passover with fire. Keep in mind, that's what I told you. The Passover must be roasted with fire. You can't boil it. You can't fry it. Aye? You can't do none of those foolishness that you do in the world. Alright? Okay? He say, And they roasted the Passover with fire, as appertaineth. As for the sacrifice, they sat them in brass pot and pans with a good savor. And set them before all the people. And afterward they prepared for themselves and for the priests their brethren, the son of Aaron. For the priests offered the fat until night. And the Levite prepared for themselves and the priests their brethren, the son of Aaron. The holy singer also, the son of Asaph, were in the order according to the appointment of David to with Asaph, Zechariah, and Jerutum, who was of the king's Read to know. Right. Moreover, the porters were at the every gate. It was not lawful for any to go from his ordinary service. For the brethren to live and prepare for them. That's where the thing that belonged to the sacrifice of the Lord accomplished in that day. That they may hold the Passover and offer sacrifice upon the altar of the Lord according to the commandment of King Josiah. So the children of Israel which were present held the Passover at that time, and the feast of sweet bread seven day, the feast of unleavened bread, sweet bread seven day, and such a Passover was not kept, and such a Passover was not kept in Israel since the time of the prophet Samuel, right? Right? Yeah, all the kings of Israel had not such a Passover as Josiah, and the priests, and the Levites, and the Jews held with all Israel that were found dwelling at Jerusalem. In the 18th year of the reign of Josiah was this Passover kept. Let's go in the book of 2 Kings 23. 2 Kings 23, and we're going to close on that. Right? Lord willing, right? Because I kept on bringing more and more. 2 Kings 23, and go to it. 2 Kings 23. There is a book of 2 King, 2 King chapter 23, and we're going to read verses 21 through 23. 2 King 23, verses 21 through 23. All right, 2 King, right? You already know. Let's read it. There is a book of 2 King chapter 23, and verses 21 through 23. And the king commanded all the people, saying, Keep the Passover unto the Lord your Yahweh. As it is written, what is it written? Ezra chapter 12, Ezra chapter 13, the book of Matthew, right? the book of Luke 22, and the list goes on and on and on. Keep the Passover unto the Lord your Yahweh, as it is written in the book of this covenant, in the Torah. Surely there was not holding such a Passover, okay, from the days of the judges that judges Israel, nor in all the days of the king of Israel, nor of the kings of Judah. But in the 18th year of King Josiah, wherein this Passover was holding to the Lord in Jerusalem. So that's what we just want to bring out, as you already know, Lord willing. If you got a question, it's something that you don't understand, you want to understand the way it got to be done, thing like that. And, you know, leave me a message, right, as you already know. So with that, we give our praise, glory, honor, power, be unto the Most High, Yahweh. We do so through Yahweh, Shah Mashiach. Make sure you're ready for the Passover. 
Be ready, circumcise yourself, and be ready, brother and sister. Circumcise yourself and be ready, right? As I said earlier, circumcise yourself and be ready, right? Circumcise yourself and be ready, right? For the Passover. Always you got to be ready, right? You see that? You got to be ready for the Passover. Shalom, shalom family.